Hi, Victor here. And I'd like to welcome you and to thank you for visiting my channel. I have created this channel around Create Studio Pro. Recently, the team of Create Studio have launched a new version of their software called Create Studio Pro. I'm really excited to share with you first insights about this new release. Everything inside Create Studio Pro is basically new. They've built this entire app from scratch on the latest technology of frameworks and based on a lot of their users' suggestions and their own suggestions as video creators. They've put together what I think is the most powerful and easy to use video creation software online. So, what you're going to notice is, they built a brand new user interface, and every part of the app has been thoughtfully designed to make editing and using the app to create videos super simple and easy, but also allowing you to have loads of flexibility to customize and create whatever you want with a really simple user interface. I'm starting off with media. They've built a new global media library, and this enables you to save media that you use often into your global library, so that you can use it on multiple projects moving forward without having to continually import that same image or video or audio track. This is great for logos or just any footage they use often. They also integrated with GIFIs, so now you can quickly add animated GIFIs. You can add GIF stickers, as well as another integration with a really high quality video cycle cover so you can get some really nice video footage from there as well and of course they got pexels and pixabay that you can access there now the timeline is a massive improvement they've rebuilt the entire timeline and this enables you now to add multiple layers onto a single track or you can go ahead and cut tracks as well and everything about the timeline is much more fun in terms of you don't have to drop down to look at animations all the animations are directly on the layers and this is going to speed up your editing and animating without having to keep dropping down and expanding and putting the tracks back up. And, you're really going to enjoy working with the timeline because they've made some improvements. It's really simple to zoom in and out using the time bar. And I think you're really going to enjoy working with this. They have also built new composition. So now you can group layers. And when you group a layer you got to see on the right panel that they've got all the layers directly listed on the settings panel. So you can make adjustments to layers inside the group without having to go inside the group. So you can quickly replace images and media. You can change text without having to go into the group. And if you want, you can go into the group and make more adjustments. You can also animate groups of elements. You can mask your composition to create some really cool animations. And I think you're really going to like this massive improvement. The team also built a render queue. So now you can render multiple videos at the same time while you're creating another video inside the app. So you simply create your video, add it to the render queue, and you go back into Create Studio Pro and create another video while your video is rendering, which is really cool. You can also export frames of your video as images. So you can export a certain frame to use as your thumbnail for a YouTube video. You can save either PNG or JPEG images, and you can also export transparent videos as MOVs or WebMs. Now, a really cool thing they've built is components, and these allow you to save a massive amount of time by having pre-animated elements. So, for example, a progress bar, you can just drag a progress bar onto your video and it automatically resizes to the content on the timeline. You can also adjust the design. You can choose different preset styles. They've got carousel as well. You can drag a carousel adding your images by dragging onto the carousel and have really nice animated elements done for you. This new engine is going to allow the team to quickly build loads of components and they will be adding these in every month. So you're going to really love the way this works. And you got to see when you start using some of these, how quick and easy it is to start making your own videos and animations. They also built new transitions. So these transitions work in the way that you drag the transition onto a video or a text or an image or shape and it applies the transition onto the layer. So this is a really cool new update. You can add it to the in part or the out part and you really got to love these transitions. You can also now create your own animations using the motion presets panel and the advanced settings and you can create your own animations and save them as presets which is really cool because you can adjust the easing and you can adjust all the properties and save your own unique animations to use on different layers of for your projects moving forward. They've also made a massive update to characters. So they had to actually go ahead and recreate the characters in a way they work. So now that you can have the ability to loop your actions, you can remove the end part of the action or the end part of the action. For example, if you've got a character, you just wanted to stay seated. You can remove the part where he's standing up to seated and then from seated to standing up, 
so you can have a continue loop of the character. For example, sitting down, drinking coffee. You're really going to like this improvement. Also, the characters are much smaller file size. They are about 75 to 80% smaller than the original Create Studio characters. That enables you to download the characters faster and is less of a file size on your computer. Also, the characters have been redesigned in high resolution up to 4K. So if you do high resolution videos, the character is going to look really, really clean and crisp. And here is a massive list of other features which I haven't covered yet. For things like pen tool, to create your own shapes, and there are grids, you can export your images. There are filters, you can create your own text box with a text shape background. There is a multicolor gradient so you can have as many color gradient as you like just by clicking on the gradient bar you get to add new colors. There is a Giphy's integration, and there is also a really cool keyboard shortcuts menu. So you have loads of shortcuts to make things really fast with your editing. You can now input custom fonts pretty quickly and easy. They've got a fill effect, color correction, blur effect, a turbulence effect, and they've got an improved masking. So you're really going to enjoy this and a whole bunch of other things that you're going to notice when you open up the app. It's a lot smoother, everything's a lot faster and easier to use. They're still making improvements for a great experience. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about Create Studio Pro and how did you find it when you tried it out. For now, how to access Create Studio Pro. You simply click on the download link in the description below this video, download the app, and then you will be asked to log into the app. What you want to do is use the same login details and the same email address and password that you have for Create Studio. You got to log into the app and get started. Make sure to watch the quick start tutorials inside the app to find out exactly how it all works and check out also the tutorials page for more details on all the features. I hope you're excited about Create Studio Pro as much as I am. I will love to hear what you think of it, so leave your thoughts in the comments below. As always, have fun creating.